thank you for watching. Please watch the whole video. Subscribe and put a thumbs up on this video. I'm gonna show you how I created this 30 minute beat. Um, and please, bear with me with the lights. I'm trying to figure out the lighting situation, but continue to watch the video. It will get better, I promise. All right, so I filled in my brows with the Benefit Pencil number five and the NYX in Espresso, just a little bit. And I'm carving it here with the Sephora Best Skin Ever in the shade 35N. I went to go pick me up a new shade in Too Faced Concealer. This is the shade Coca. Um, I just like to line the upper part of my eyebrow, just the very end of it or the tail of the eyebrow, just to shape it up. So this is what I'm basically doing here. And here I'm just blending out the concealer that I have left on my eyelid. And you know me, I just like to um, cover the eye with a little bit of that air sponge just so it's not shiny. And I'm using the Juvia's Place foundation in the shade, do, do, do. What shade is this? Acora, A-C-C-R-A, -A? not sure. But here is the concealer I'm using for under the eye, the nose, the forehead. This is in the shade Butterscotch, and this is also in Too Faced as well. And like I said, I am working on my lighting and my camera so that the picture can be a lot better. So bear with me, bear with me, subscribe with me, and um, you'll see me upgrade for sure. This is the NARS. I'm using this to contour the cheekbones, around the hairline, and even underneath the chin to sculpt up the chin or the jawline, I should say. This is in the shade Laguna 5. I'm just pressing it in just to kind of give a good contour. And as you see, I am pushing in the contour and the hairline so you don't see any, you know, line difference of the color with the foundation in my hairline. So I'm just pushing in the contour against the hairline at the top of my uh, cheekbones and underneath my jaw. Here I am, I'm just blending out the concealer. I always start off with my chin, then I go underneath my nose, and then I blend the edges up underneath the eye, then I go to the nose, and then I do the forehead. I like to let the concealer sit underneath the eye so that it you know, gets thick and you have more full coverage. And with this 30 minute face, I do not contour the nose. So I basically use my concealer to kind of shape my nose when I'm trying to do a quick face. This is the same brush that I use the contour NARS with. I don't have any extra product. I'm just blending in the concealer with the forehead just so that it blends much better. I'm just pressing in the concealer. I'm trying not to move it. I just want to press it in the same place. So I'm just, you know, pressing in um, the concealer so that it blends in a lot better with the skin. This is the Rare Beauty um, Liquid Blush in the shade Lucky. To do a quick face, I literally just use a liquid blush and that's it. I don't go over it with any powder blush because it's so pigmented. I didn't need anything extra.
here I am just blending in the concealer just to get rid of any creases that I have with the concealer before I set it. And I set it with the Laura Mercier in the shade Honey. I'm just pressing down that um, setting powder just so they can go really into the skin. I press it until you can barely see it and it just blends into the concealer. So I'm just pressing, pressing, pressing until it looks really smooth underneath the eyes. I know you see the nose look like it's been contoured, but it hasn't even been touched besides the concealer. So this helps with that, you know, the contour look just with the concealer alone. This is the same powder that I'm using, the Laura Mercier in Honey. I'm just pressing it into the other eye just so that it looks good. And then I'm gonna go to the chin, underneath the nose. Um, I'm gonna bake on the nose, and then I'm gonna go to the forehead. This is the Morphe palette in 8D. I'm just using those two colors that I show just to um, set that NARS contour that we used. Just remember everything liquid you put on your face, you must set it with some type of powder. I am an oily girl, so I must set my face. Again, I'm just pressing the same powder, the Morphe palette uh, powder into the hairline as well so you don't show any lines with demarcation. This is the Laura Mercier again, the same one in shade Honey, and I'm just basically, I'm sharpening my jawbone uh, with this. And then I'm just gonna uh, lightly brush it off with the foundation powder that I use with e.l.f. Um, I'm just doing a quick little bake on the side of my nose. Again, I'm not contouring the nose with anything. I'm just basically doing it with the uh, setting powder. This is the e.l.f. Camo powder foundation in the shade 425N. This is really good. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in the number shade 330 and I'm just um, brushing off that uh, setting powder that we applied to the side of the nose. It's a little bit lighter than my uh, shade in my face so it's going to pop a little bit and I also put this underneath my eye. Here I am, I'm just basically doing a little cream color under eye to my waterline and then this is Sephora in the shade Coconut. And I, here I am just lining the lip, lip. I'm using the MAC pencil in the shade doo -doo -doo, Chestnut. And then I got this new lipstick from Too Faced. I don't even know what it's called, but it's Pumpkin Spice, I think. But it was a really pretty orange color. And then I topped it off with this Revlon Orange Lip Gloss. I'm 
sorry, I also applied some lashes and I also just did a quick underline or under um, eyelash mascara to the under eye. Here I am using the Rare Beauty highlighter in the shade Flaunt and I got this technique from somebody else on YouTube. She used the bunt of her um, Beauty Blender. She taps it in and then she just pats the cheek because I hate that line that you get from brushes. And then I topped it off with the Urban Decay All Nighter. And boom, there you go. Quick 30 minute face, baby.